When the average Joe pictures somebody going fishing, a lot of times they're thinking of someone going up to the lake or river or pond, casting out a couple fishing rods, then sitting down and enjoying a nice cold drink. Well, that is not at all the type of fishing that I'm gonna be doing in this video. In fact, the fish that I'm going after in this video requires specialized gear that's incredibly strong. You have to be strong yourself. You have to be willing to push yourself and fight harder than you would fight pretty much any other fish. And it's a fish that people will travel from all over the world for just a chance at. A lot of times just seeing the fish or getting the chance to hook one is considered a successful day by a lot of anglers. And then landing the fish? People don't even have to actually land the fish to consider the fish landed. A lot of people will consider just touching the line near the hook a landed released fish. So the fish I'm talking about, if you haven't figured it out already, is none other than the Silver King itself, the tarpon. I think the tarpon is the number one game fish in the entire world for a few reasons. The tarpon can be caught in all sorts of conditions, freshwater, saltwater, it can be caught back in rivers, it can be caught off the beach, it can be caught offshore in deeper water, it can be caught on artificial, fly, live bait, jigging, all sorts of different ways you can target this fish. You don't need a big boat to go way offshore and the fish are strong. Even a little tarpon will prove to test even a skilled angler. A tarpon that's only one or two feet long will be doing all sorts of aerial jumps. It pulls hard, it's fast, it has a lot of endurance. Now take that same fish and make it 200 pounds, 250 pounds. These fish get absolutely gigantic and they still fight hard. It's not like a giant grouper that has a slow fight that's pretty shortly lived. It is a fish that will literally fight to its death, which is why it takes such specialized gear and power to land these fish in a safe, timely manner so that you can release them and they can survive. The tarpon is hands down the number one game fish in the entire world. With my little tarpon montage done, now let's get into this video. This video, we were catching bait. I was meeting up with my buddy, Captain Ryan McKay of Hook and Reel Charters and his brother, Dave, to catch bait to go snook fishing the next day. But the annual migration of mullet was happening, the mullet run. They start in the Carolinas, go down the East Coast, around Florida, up into the Gulf. And for this reason, I always have some kind of heavier gear with me. While catching bait, we start seeing these crazy explosions. These tarpon were just crashing on baits, and that quickly changed our plan from bait catching to tarpon fishing. Oh, guys, out here on Hook and Reel Charge today, we got Joe, <laughs> we got Dave, we got a nice pot of mullet here blowing up off the front of the boat. We'll get back to you in the action. Something just splashed right there. Yeah, they're on their side of school. I swear it's wrong. Yeah, I just saw one roll there. Dude, look at that weight on that. Graceful cast. Oh, oh! Oh my god. He went for it, but he didn't get it. He did get it. He did get it. He got it. Oh, oh he got it. He got it. He oh, he got it. He got it. Dude, that was sick. Should we chase him around the crab traps? Dude, that was sick. I didn't think he'd get it. Got it. I didn't feel him uh, I didn't feel him thump it. Dude, that's a big one. Dude. Got a stud on. Oh my god, you did not. No, you did not. No, you didn't. Dude, he rolled on it. He might be is he coming at you or no? So I keep chasing this fish or what, dude? I'm going yeah. for this fish. Yeah, we got one on. I know. Woo! Oh, man. We got the 4,000. 
No, you do not. No way. You got a giant. You got a giant. You got to go over the crab pot. Dave, over the crab pot. <laughs> Dave, Dave's got a big one. I got one on out of here. Come up here with me, Dave. Oh. Oh my god. No that was sick. Stupidness. Stupidness. He had the light rod though. We were not planning on doing this. We were just gonna go catch bait. I happen to have my surf rod with me which actually has a little bit of power to it, actually a good amount of power. This is the nine and a half foot Salt X surf rod with the 4000 Tsunami Salt X. 20 pound braid, which is plenty, especially in the boat. And I did tie a heavy leader at least, heavy-ish. 60 pound fluorocarbon Tsunami with a Salt X circle hook, 7.0 with Mac Daddy mullet. What charter are we on? Hook and reel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> A hook and reel. We're thumped up. I don't even know what thumped up means. It's all on YouTube, though, right? Yeah. I'm wearing jeans, shoes, and a sh t shirt. This is not my normal fishing attire. All right, I guess we'll tighten up and try to pull down his back. See if we can get him. All right, Ryan, grab him. What? Oh, oh, he's doing stuff, he's doing stuff. This is what happens when bait fishing and tarpon show up. You get slightly distracted. I thought you were gonna take a nap. I was gonna take a nap. I started nodding out. I was supposed to be helping Ryan catch bait for tomorrow. Got sucked into scrolling on my phone, started nodding out. And then he said there was tarpon. So I came here, I didn't even bring my pinfish rod. Actually I do, I think I got it in the truck. But we got us a stud hooked up. I never thought, oh. I never thought I'd be fighting a fish on the front of the boat with a surf rod. But that's what I had. Oh, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, come on, do it. Nope. Even all sorts of weird stuff though. Going out to that other mullet school. Oh my gosh. Ryan had to get us back on it. Started taking a lot of line there for a minute, but we're catching back up to him now. So when you do that, you're not really putting a ton of pressure on him. We need to hook another one though. We gotta get on him again. Got a little tighter on the drag. Dude, my reel's so hot from that run. <laughs> Come on, jump! Oh, he listened a little bit. I need some energy, I need some energy. Where's that? Energy? Joe for Joe. Oh, come on. Brought to you by 7-Eleven. When I go for tarp, and I like to have me a nice hot cafe con leche from the all new freshly ground coffee beans at 7 Eleven. Oh, thank heaven for 7 Eleven. I'll make a short out of that. Are you like sponsored? 7 Eleven, sponsor me. Oh, no. This ought to tire him out, right? It's long run. Maybe. Oh, I'm gaining on him now, Rye. Yeah, you got the You got him in rabbit mode. Double rabbit mode. I did start to gain on him, though, just before you started going. Yeah. How did he not jump right there? Carbon jump. Go.
Baby, these fish do not give up. This reel's seen some things too, dude. This is an old reel. Original salt egg. I don't think I've ever caught a tarpon on it though. I never use the 4,000. I always use my stick. I don't think you've ever caught a tarpon on my boat. I don't think I've ever caught... I don't think I've ever caught a fish on your boat. <laughs> you caught Goliath. And I caught that snook when you hooked it and handed it to me. <laughs> snook? Yeah, when we were doing uh, pictures for the show. Oh, yeah. Ooh. God, I thought he just came off. 85 in this one. Oh, we got plenty of battery life from the Joe Pro. <laughs> the Joe Pro. <laughs> That's what I have it nicknamed. It comes up on my phone, connected to Joe Pro. Joe Pro 10, Joe Pro 11. Logan started calling it that, I think. Oh, we're gaining a lot now. We're not chasing them. This is just power. We're pulling. No, don't do it. Come back. Come back. Dude, I'm like in such a stalemate right here. No, he's pulling. He's Who's pulling stronger? It. He's stronger. I'm stronger, but I don't want to break him off. But I am pulling really hard. Here he comes. Dude, I tighten the drag up so much. Ooh. Right there, 20 yards out. Is that 20 yards, hunters? 15. 15? Ooh, that was a big gain. We need to roll them. Lots of big gains here. Dude, every one of those is like 10 feet with this rod. This is where we need him to do a jump, right there. Tarpon, do a jump for me. All right, he's coming up here. He's coming up for a roll. El Rolo, that's a good fish. Okay, there's my leader. So I got a really weird leader on here, Ron. I gotta give you a warning if you're trying to land this thing. There's an FG knot to like three feet of 80, and then there's another knot to 60. So if you grab the leader, don't get your hand cut by the other knot. So I'll cut it at the 80. No, you're gonna unhook him. He's got that circle hook right there in the button. I'm just kidding, I didn't see where he's hooked. Come back up. He doesn't want to come up at all, dude. What, do you have a bull shark painted on the bottom of your boat? <laughs> he does not want to come up. Dude, I can feel sweat like dripping down my legs. Oh, he's coming up again. Dude, that's a chunky one, man. Leader. Right down the back, right down the back. Let's roll him, let's roll him. Got my leader at the, at the tip. Look at the size of the tail on that thing! <laughs> I think it was twice the size of that. Look at the size of that thing, right? Touch the leader. Landed fish, oh yeah. Going in that wet record book. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. We're mounted. It looks like he was about to do something. There he goes. That's a silver king. It's a yellow king in the river. Mm -hmm. You want to give Dave the camera? Yeah.
You better get two hands on that mouth and hang on tight, boy. I don't even want to touch this thing. Come on. Bottom jaw grab. Let's see it, Rye. Oh, hope you didn't want it. You can leader him, too, if you want. I don't want to break it. Here, you want to switch me? Yeah, I get him. That was just barely in there. Oh, no. You didn't like that. Mm. Surf rod underwater. <laughs> that leader's in there, just be careful. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just don't want to go through the uni, yeah. the uni knot. Gotcha. Ooh, that's a feisty fish. I'm trying to keep just the right amount of pressure. In the slingshot approach. Look at that thing barely in there. It's coming out. It is coming out. No, oh, I can't hold on to this. That's a good one, dude. Put the boat in gear. Get that tail up. You said good. That is what we're looking for there. Ryan's getting the boat in gear, which is good for getting your pictures, but also reviving the fish at the same time. Get the boat moving, get that water going through them. Move around, see if you need to get different views or whatever. Dave, if you click the screen, you can see that. Yeah. Hold on. That is a chunker. Just keep going. All right, I'm gonna try to get his other side. Sit. Try back down low again, like from the back, from the tail. That yeah, is maybe a... scoot up a little bit. Me? Yeah, come up towards the rod more. That is a grown one right there. Look at that hook. A little bit of fray. Fell right out. Yo, let me hop in and you guys hold it up. Really? Yeah. All right, give him the camera. I'm not gonna hold it up, but I'll do like. Yeah, yeah, just like very. Don't stop it. No, no, just let it keep going. Just okay. give it to him. Are you? Oh, that thing is giant. I don't want to pull him up, but... Oh, he's sorry. <laughs> now, as soon as we landed the fish, we got the trolling motor going, and we're reviving the fish. We're using the boat to push water across the fish's hills. So even though we're doing photos and videos this whole That's time, this is what's we're needed really to be done when reviving a big fish like a tarpon. You got him? Yeah. I am done with that fish. He wasn't really kicking much, so when you, whenever you feel he's good, you can go for it. He's ready. I gotta let him go. Look at that, he's kicking away. Swimming! Well, that was not planned at all i did not think i was actually fishing today i thought we were just catching a couple pig fish but captain ryan mckay and first mate dave mckay of hook and reel charters we started i don't know what i'm talking about it was fun we're gonna go hook another one though